Hi guys and welcome to part 7 of the Wally tutorial here in Blender. So by now you should have something that looks like this. Our body and our neck area which we just finished creating at the end of the previous tutorial. So now we're going to add Wally's most distinguishable feature probably is the eyes and um, head area. So we're going to start by creating one of the eyes then we're going to duplicate it across. So um, to create this uh, you could set up a reference image in Blender and trace exactly around it. I'm not, I'm not going to quite go to those lengths here. Um, for now, I'm just going to go to my front view. And in object mode, we'll create a circle. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis. And now we're done with that. We'll jump over into edit mode. And over here in edit mode, we can now begin to shape. So I'm going to first of all drag this out to create this top flat edge that you can see here at the top of the Wally eye socket. So we drag these out to create this flat edge and then We can move these parts. These uh, you grab these handles, and it allows us to manipulate those edges. I want to try and get as straight an edge at the top there as I can. I'm probably going to move everything down a little bit. Because it's got a little bit too high. Drag this handle in slightly. Okay, let's take a look at the reference image. It's looking about right to me now. Okay, so we can then go over into object mode. Take a look at that. All right, this curves in a little bit there, so I want to adjust that slightly. It's going to come out. Back over into object mode. Okay, still not quite happy with that. I need to move everything up slightly. Like I said, you could have a reference image and really trace around it, but I don't want to go to those lengths in this tutorial. I do have a tutorial on setting up reference images if you are interested in how to do that. Okay, it's getting closer. Check back at the reference image. Okay, this edge here should be a little bit more curved. So I'm going to bring that out slightly and bring this in. Okay, I think that's about good enough. All right, so now we've 
done this piece. Just going to get rid of that kink we have. There's a slight kink in there. Can round that a little bit more. All right. Okay, so now we've done that, I'm going to hit um, Alt and C to convert this to a mesh object. Open object mode, Alt C, convert to a mesh. So now when we go into edit mode, you'll see we have our vertices there. And we can select this whole edge. So we'll select the edge loops. Once we've done that, we can then extrude this out along the y-axis to begin to form our eye socket. Now I'll come over to the 3D view, see about how far out this is taken. So if the front of the eyes are at the front edge there, it comes back to just in front of the um, hinge on the neck. So we're going to go to a side view and adjust that a little bit. Let's go back into object mode and move the whole object forward slightly. Back into edit mode and I'm going to move this back. Okay, now I want to select all of the edges at the front, so we'll select edge loops and we want to create a face there, um, so over in our tools, make face from the edges, now if we take a look at our reference image, you see this is recessed in a little bit, so what we're going to do now is we'll E, enter, S to scale, scale down a little bit, E to extrude again, and we'll go inwards. So we don't want to go in too far, just around there should be enough. Now I want to select these faces, but in a loop again. And control B to bevel. To bevel these edges a little bit and we'll increase the number of segments so it's curved. So there now we have the beginnings of our eye. Now um, it's a little large if we look from the front and we compare it to our reference image so we'll scale everything a little bit so in object mode here we'll hit scale scale it down slightly we need to position this about where it's going to be So let's say it's going to approximately be there. Now I can go to my right view again and in edit mode, edge select. I'm going to select all these edges. Select the edge loops. Go to my right view and we'll drag that back again. A little bit. Okay, now we're going to want to mirror this. So in object mode, we go to our modifiers and we're going to add a mirror modifier. On this occasion, I don't want to merge the vertices. I'm going to mirror 
the mirror object is going to be the body so the body is this here so that means it will mirror on the center axis of that body there so that is about right now we'll go to our front view should we have enough space there okay back over into edit mode we've got our edges selected at the rear so again we're going to create a face out of this E to extrude S to scale and then E to extrude again We'll extrude inwards. And then E and S again to scale. E and to S to scale. Now I want to bring out this center area here. We'll add in this flat top edge and all these details afterwards that you can see around there. I just want to get this 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 shape here extruded out to start with. There. And a reference image, you can see these are actually touching that center part, so let's adjust that back over in object mode move these in a little bit and select this object go over there into edit mode and this needs scaling upwards a little bit Uh, object mode okay I'm going to select these front faces here face select I didn't size this quite right when we made it previously so I'm just going to add some adjustment to it now drag those forwards scale it up a little bit okay now I'm going to go to a top view come out of edit mode back into object mode I want to position these and I'm going to go to a front view sure they're actually touching there all right happy with that okay so there's our side view we've got this recess part there we have um, this detail to add also um, but before we get into that I'm going to do the front part of the eyes here so the actual eye sockets have been done I want to do the eyeballs or camera lenses as they are on Wally. So we're going to make that by creating a new object. We'll create a cylinder. We'll take it on the x-axis 90 degrees. We're going to scale it down a little bit and we'll position it. Let's get the 
size of these about right and they're in the upper right area so I'm going to go to a front view so I have no distortions scale a little and move it up here Okay, now with that, I'm going to scale it in the y-axis because we don't need it to be so long. And we can create this shape. Okay, so we'll go into edit mode. Edge select. I'm going to select uh, loop edges again. E, S, E again, E, S, scale that down, let's check this, get that about right, okay, E to extrude again, And I'll create that center part so E S and then E to extrude out a little bit E enter S. in scale again extrude out okay so there are our eyes come back then into object mode I'm going to merge this together with the head part so object join and then that will mirror it across there also so there's the eyes of Wally done. And that's it now for part seven of the tutorial. Um, at the bottom, you can download the link. Uh, you can find the link to download the um, latest model files. You can load this up in Blender and work on it yourself. Um, so I hope you found this part of the tutorial useful. That's one of the more complex um, shapes that we needed to create. Um, we're going to carry on then working on the eye sockets and create these cables and um, the other finer details at the rear there before we move on to the arms. And then finally, we'll be doing this quite complex area last, which will be the tracks and the wheels. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can keep up to date with all the latest tutorials from Final Cut Pro X, Motion 5 and Blender.